it's going to get. Another day in the low and mid 90s. Patrick here in southeastern New England away from our coastline. Beautiful coastal picture sent in from uh, Jennifer Watson, West Warwick's and then this beauty of a shot. Clear skies, so a lot of sunshine yesterday. We've got it again in the forecast for today. In fact, beaches will be hot and sunny. 88 for the air temperature this afternoon. Water temperature in the lower 70s in the safe sun time. Only about 10 to 15 minutes. Very high UV index. We're right in the midpoint of summer here, at least meteorological summer. And that sun very strong. About 81 in Providence right now. 80 westerly. 77 in Smithfield. Coventry is already up to 77. New Bedford. 79 degrees. Skies dry everywhere, but we are warming up quickly with that uh, sunny sky and that high heat. Here's the view from City Camp. And the dew point temperature, one of the ways we measure moisture in the atmosphere, it's up into the mid and upper 60s. On our scale, that puts us up in the pretty uncomfortable category. It'll be at around 67, 68 through the daytime today and again for tomorrow. Now, last week, the dew point temperature with those 90 plus degree temps were in the low 70s, so it's not quite as oppressive, but you get a stretch here of 90 plus degree weather and uh, it doesn't take much humidity to add to that uncomfortable feel. So heat advisory in effect that heat index today will be up near 100. Bermuda high pressure pumping in the heat and humidity. It's controlling our weather across the East Coast right now and even bringing that hot steamy weather all the way up into southeastern Canada. So your future cast here for nine o'clock this morning, mainly sunny skies. Couple of isolated showers may pop up to our north in the afternoon and there's a very small chance maybe 15% of seeing an isolated storm fire up here locally late afternoon or early evening. I think again, and most of us will have another dry day. So 10 o'clock tonight, warm, humid, heading off to bed. Not good sleeping weather again tonight if you don't have AC. 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, another warm start, more sunshine, and the risk of thunderstorms low for our area again for tomorrow. 9 o'clock temperatures. Well, I expect us. We're on track here to be up into the mid 80s in Providence by 9 a.m. 84 in Warwick, low 80s, New Bedford, westerly at about 84. And it doesn't take long for us to climb into the 90s inland, 92 to 95 degrees. Smithfield, Providence, uh, Warwick, Taunton, Boston. Get a little bit of a sea breeze this afternoon. Should knock the temperatures back into the upper 80s. New Bedford and the areas around Buzzards Bay in the upper 80s. Newport may get a little bit of a sea breeze in the afternoon, so temperatures will cool a bit there. Our temps overall will drop from the 80s into the 70s overnight tonight, and it'll be another warm, humid night. Again, in the 70s for overnight lows. Another day in the 90s tomorrow, about 91 for the high. Thursday, we bring in an isolated thunderstorm, 93. Friday, a scattered thunderstorm, so probably a few more popping up in our area. And by Saturday, we've got a decent shot by the end of the day of seeing some showers and storms. Uh, the chance will go up in the late afternoon and evening, and we'll have to watch for some of those storms potentially to be strong or severe. And we'll even keep the risk of showers and storms in the forecast for Saturday night. Sunday. Maybe a shower before 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning and then clearing less humid mid 80s for highs. Monday looks great. Dry skies, mix of sun and clouds and low humidity 83. That'll be a comfortable day. You can get the full